and a man convicted of murdering a toddler free tonight. That's all I want to say. That's all I want to say. I loved her. That's it. After 18 years behind bars, what prompted his release? Charges have been dropped against a man convicted in the death of a 17-month-old girl nearly two decades ago. Good evening, I'm Lauren Freeman. I'm Bill Baessa, thanks for joining us. Neil Robbins was convicted of capital murder in the death of his girlfriend's daughter, Tristan. Today, he walked out of jail a free man. Channel 2's Phil Archer joins us live. Phil, I understand that everything changed when the key witness in the case changed her testimony. Yeah, that testimony came from a government pathologist, excuse me, pathologist. It was discredited and recanted nine years ago, but it took until today for Robbins to be freed. After 18 years and multiple appeals, 41-year-old Neil Robbins is a free man. The state has moved to dismiss all charges against Neil Robbins. I'm signing an order of dismissal this day. Robbins was sentenced to life in 1999 for the strangulation murder of his girlfriend's 17-month-old daughter, Tristan Rivett. In court, the girl's mother sobbed softly today after the judge ordered Robbins' handcuffs and shackles removed. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that Mr. Robbins is innocent but he's the one that has to face God, not me. Robin's conviction rested heavily on the testimony of former assistant Harris County medical examiner, Patricia Moore. Moore testified the cause of death was homicide due to asphyxiation, but she recanted in 2007. It still took three trips to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals and legislative action to vacate the conviction and open the way for a new trial. Robin's legal team, headed by Channel 2 News legal analyst Brian Weiss. Justice sometimes, you know, it's supposed to be blind, but it's not supposed to be deaf, dumb, and stupid. And there were times in this case when I thought that's exactly what happened. Robbins was freed this morning after current Montgomery County DA Brett Ligon moved to dismiss the capital murder charge against him for lack of evidence. Seeking justice as a prosecutor means you have to do the right thing. And it's an emotionally difficult decision, but legally it wasn't. Robbins said little as he left the jail except for what seemed to be a reference to the dead child. That's all I want to say. That's all I want to say. I loved her. That's it. Robbins was advised by his attorneys not to speak with the media. He was met at the jail by a small group of friends and family. We are told he'll be living in Montgomery County for the immediate future. Reporting live in Conroe, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right.